Beat Starter Students Book by Ingrid Freeburn, Jonathan Bygrave, and Judy Copage. Published by Pearson Longman. CD3 Unit 9 Past Events Lesson 9A How was the concert? Exercise 1 Listen and read How has Polly got cheap tickets? Sam and Erin are meeting Polly on Waterloo Bridge in London. There's Polly. Hi, Polly. I like your Duffy T-shirt. Were you at her concert last night? Yes, I was, with my brothers. She was brilliant. Where were your seats? We were right in front of the stage. How much were your tickets? £15 each. You're joking. Three tickets for under £50 is amazing. Yes, one of my brothers knows a guitarist in her band. He was at college with him. You're so lucky. We were at the youth club disco. It was rubbish. Exercise 4. Pronunciation. Huh. How. A. Listen and repeat. How. He. Who. How much? How often? How old? B. Listen and underline the H huh sounds. Hello. How are you? Who's he? How was your holiday? How's Harry? Who's his friend? Exercise 5. Listen and repeat the phrases. Yesterday morning. Last night. This morning. Last month. Last year. Yesterday evening. Last Friday. Yesterday afternoon. Last week. Last weekend. Lesson 9b. She climbed up a crane. Exercise 2. Read the article about the sleepwalker. How high was the crane? A bed in a high place. Brian Jones reports. One Friday night in 2005, 15-year-old Kate Nelson was asleep in her bed. At one o'clock in the morning, she walked out of her house, across the street and into a building site. The security guards didn't notice her. Then she climbed up a 40-metre crane. At two o'clock in the morning, a man walked past the building site and noticed the girl on the crane. He called 999 and the fire service arrived immediately. A firefighter climbed up the crane and then realised that Kate was still asleep. He carried her down a big ladder. Three hours after leaving her house, she was back home again. When her parents asked her about her adventure, she didn't remember it. Lesson 9C Where did you surf? Exercise 2 Listen and read what musical instrument does Josh play? 
What's the matter, Josh? Nothing. I'm just a bit fed up. I failed my piano exam yesterday. Dad's quite angry. How often did you practice? Did you practice every day? No, I didn't. I surfed every day. You surfed? Where did you surf? We're miles from the sea here. At home. I surf the internet. Exercise 6B. Now listen and answer the questions from exercise 6A. Imagine you are Owen. I'm in Australia and I'm talking to Owen Williams. Owen is 15 years old now. So, Owen, a shark attacked you, is that right? Yes, that's right. How old were you? I was 14 years old. Where did you live? I lived in Sydney. And what time did the shark attack? It attacked at about 7 o'clock in the evening. Were you alone? No, I wasn't. I was with my friend, Rachel Brooks. And did you notice the shark? No, I didn't. Rachel noticed it and she shouted, Shark! Shark! But I didn't believe her. Did the shark actually attack you? No, it didn't really attack me. It attacked my surfboard. I was really angry. It was a new surfboard. Anyway, we returned to the beach and I phoned the police. Were you OK? Yes, we were. And have you still got the surfboard? Yes, I have. Exercise 7A. Listen and repeat. Worried. Fed up. Bored. Happy. Sad. Excited. Angry. Tired. Exercise 7B. Now match the words to the sentences you hear. 1. I've got a lot of homework and Mum says I can't go to the concert on Saturday. It's not fair. 2. <sighs> It's ten o'clock. It's my bedtime. Good night. Three. <sighs> this film is really long and nothing is happening. <sighs> Four. Fantastic. You've got tickets for the concert next Saturday. I can't wait. Five. Where are they? It's seven o'clock and they're not here. I hope everything is OK. Six. I'm trying to read. Turn the music down. Seven. Thank you. That's a great present. I really like it. Eight. I lost my mobile phone last week. I really miss it. Exercise 8. Listen and repeat. Then practice the conversation in pairs. What's the matter? Nothing. I'm just a bit tired. Why are you tired? Because I stayed up late last night. Never mind. Why don't you go to bed early tonight? Lesson 9D. Modern Inventions. Exercise 2. Read mobile phone facts. Say why these numbers are important. A. 1983 B. 595 million Calling the world Mobile phone facts 
In 1973, Martin Cooper invented the mobile phone, but the first mobile phone only arrived in the shops in 1983. It was very big and heavy. It weighed about two kilos. Today, three billion people around the world have got a landline, but over three billion people have got a mobile phone. In the UK, 50 million people use mobile phones. In India, 54 million. In the USA, 170 million. In Africa, 310 million. And in China, 595 million. Mobile phones are very popular in India and China, and many African countries. Because not many people have got landlines. Mobile phones and you. There aren't any landlines in my village because it's in the country, but we've got a mobile phone. All my family use it. We buy pay-as-you-go cards. Some people in my village haven't got a mobile phone, but they use the village mobile phone. It's cheap. You pay by the minute. Jomo, seventeen, Kenya. My mobile phone was a birthday present from my parents. I use it a lot. I make phone calls, send text messages, take photos, and surf the internet. I even watch sports on it. It's also my alarm clock and my diary. My mum says I'm addicted to it. Dan. Sixteen, Manchester. Exercise five: Read the text about another invention, and guess the missing words. Then listen and check. Dad, you like planes. Can you help me with my homework? Yes, sure. What is it? It's a project on inventions. I'm doing one on the aeroplane. Okay. What do you want to know? Who invented the aeroplane? It was the Wright brothers. Ah yes, I remember. It was Orville and Wilbur Wright. How do you spell Wright? W, R, I, G, H, T. Can you tell me about the first flight? Well, it was in North Carolina in the USA. In December 1903. Wow, more than a hundred years ago. The plane travelled 40 meters, and the flight only lasted 12 seconds. 12 seconds? Is that all? <laughs> yes, but it changed the world. When was the first passenger flight? It was in 1908. How fast did the plane travel? It travelled at about 60 kilometers an hour. Nowadays, planes travel at about nine hundred kilometers an hour. Unit ten, travel, lesson ten a. He bought a sports car. Exercise two. Read the newspaper article. What is the name of the sports car in the photo? Stars and their cars. Rowan Atkinson, Mr. Bean. This is Rowan Atkinson. He plays Mr. Bean in the film and TV series. Rowan is a rich and famous actor now, but when he was a teenager, he had different jobs. He drove a tractor on a farm, and when he was nineteen, he was a lorry driver. After the TV series in 1991, his life changed. He was famous. In 1997, he made a film, Mr. Bean. And soon after that, he bought a sports car. But he didn't buy a normal sports car; 
He bought a McLaren F1. It cost six hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Two years later, in nineteen ninety nine, he went to a friend's house in his car, and he had an accident. He crashed his car. Rowan was all right, but his car wasn't. He went home by taxi. A reporter took this photo of the car. Rowan's brother said, "I'm surprised. Rowan is usually a very good driver." Rowan didn't say anything. Repairs to his car cost twenty percent of the price of a new McLaren F1. Now he drives very carefully. Exercise eight a. Listen and repeat. Then match a word from the box to a form of transport in the pictures. Which words are not in the pictures? Bike. Boat. Bus. Car. Coach. Lorry. Motorbike, plane, scooter, taxi, train, tram, underground, tube. Exercise nine. Pronunciation. Ah. Car. A. Listen and repeat. Car. Ah. Ask. Last. Past. B. Listen and underline the ah sounds, then repeat the dialogue in pairs. It's half past six. Let's start. We can't start. Mark and Lara aren't here. Where are they? Is their car in the car park? I don't know. It's dark, and the car park is quite far. Lesson ten B. Where did you go? Exercise two. Listen and read. Complete the dialogue with the correct phrases from the box. Sam is returning from a school trip. Hello, Sam. Welcome back. How was your holiday? It was really good fun. But it wasn't a holiday, Dad. It was a geography school trip. Okay, okay. Did you have a good time? Yes, I did. Thanks. How was the youth hostel? It was great, thanks. What did you do? Did you go sightseeing? Sightseeing? No way. We went climbing. We climbed Ben Nevis. It was brilliant. Did you buy me a present? No, I didn't. I spent my money on chips. The food at the hostel wasn't a great part of the holiday. Just a minute, you said it wasn't a holiday. Exercise four: Listen and repeat. Then write the activities in three groups. Go climbing. Climb. Go mountain biking. Go shopping. Shop. Go sightseeing. Sightsee. Go skiing. Ski. Go swimming. Swim. Go to a museum. Go to the beach.
Go windsurfing. Windsurf. Play beach volleyball. Sunbathe. Exercise seven. Listen and repeat the questions and answers below. Then practice the conversation in pairs. Holidays in general. How was your holiday? It was good fun. Place. Where did you go? We went to Scotland. Accommodation. Where did you stay? We stayed in a hotel. Weather and food. What was the weather like? It was brilliant. Activities. What did you do? We went to the beach. Lesson ten C. Three days ago, we saw the waterfalls. Exercise two. Read about a special trip for young people across South America. How many countries does Rachel mention? Open world trip. Robert Sands reports. Three months ago, Rachel Ford travelled across South America from Ecuador to Argentina. Why was her trip special? Because Rachel and the other twenty teenagers on the trip are disabled. Here is an extract from Rachel's diary. July fifth. Today we left Quito in Ecuador, and travelled north to Lake Quicocha. We went by boat across the lake past a big island. It wasn't easy to get my wheelchair on the boat, but it was okay. July tenth, two days ago, we took a train to Machu Picchu, the lost city of the Incas in Peru. It's very high in the mountains. I took lots of photos. July sixteenth, three days ago, we saw the Iguazu waterfalls. They're between Argentina and Brazil. We got very wet. We arrived here in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil six hours ago. July twenty seventh. Yesterday we went in a small plane from Rio to Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina. Last night we saw some amazing tango dancers. I did a great wheelchair dance. Exercise five A. Listen and repeat. Then look at the photos opposite and find the items. Which items are not in the photos? Coast. Forest. Hill. Island. Lake. Mountain. Ocean. River. Rock. Sea. Tree. Valley. Waterfall. Lesson ten D. Explorers. Exercise one. Read the article and match the main ideas A to D to the correct paragraph one to four. Heroes of the Antarctic. One. A hundred years ago, two explorers, Robert Falcon Scott from the UK and Roald Amundsen from Norway, started a race across Antarctica. To the South Pole. Two. 
Amundsen started from Roosevelt Island on October the 20th, 1911. His team had good skiers and 50 dogs to pull their sledges. They moved fast across the ice and arrived at the South Pole on Friday the 14th of December. 3. Five and Scott started from Ross Island on November the 1st, 1911. His team had horses, motor sledges and a few dogs. After a few days, the motor sledges failed and the animals were hungry and very cold. They travelled very slowly and didn't arrive until January the 17th, 1912. They were very disappointed when they found Amundsen's flag. 4. The return journey for Scott's men was a disaster. The weather was very bad and they didn't have enough food. At the end of March, they died in their tents, only 15 kilometres from one ton depot where there was food. Exercise 5. Listen to two students talking about Marco Polo. Make notes. Hi, Jamie. Which explorer are you writing about? Hi, Bella. I'm writing about Marco Polo. He was a famous Italian explorer. There's a lot of information on this website. Really? Where did he go? He went to China. Where did he start from? Let's see. He started from Venice in Italy. He left in 1271. He went with his father and uncle. How long did the journey take? It took about four years. They didn't have trains or planes then. They travelled on horses. How long did Marco Polo stay in China? He stayed for 17 years. He really liked it there. He had a job, travelled around China. Did he go back to Italy? Yes, he did. He went home by sea and arrived back in Italy in 1295. So which explorer are you writing about? Unit 11. Choices. Lesson 11a. It's smaller and lighter. Exercise 1. Listen and read. Which mobile phone does Sam like? Hey Sam, which of these three mobile phones do you prefer? Um, I'm not sure. The XP3 is the cheapest. Hmm. It's also the biggest and the heaviest of the three. The S50 is good. It's smaller and lighter than the XP3. Yes, but the website says the XP3 is easier to use. I still prefer the S50. It's better than my old mobile phone. It's got two extra megapixels and it's £20 cheaper. The best phone is the Z5. It's the smallest and lightest of them all. Yes. But it's really expensive. Anyway, we haven't got any money, so we can't buy any of them. Exercise 4. Listen and repeat. Then sort the adjectives into opposites. Which two adjectives have two opposites in the box? Which adjective has no opposite? Bad, big, cheap, clean, cold, dirty, easy, far, fast, good, hard, heavy. Hot, light, long, near, new, old, 
short, slow, small, tall, young.